Kids Playground. Hooray! This message is brought to you by Enterprise AI in the Cloud, a practical guide to deploying end-to-end -end machine learning and chat GPT solutions. A $48 value, free. Look for the link in the description of this podcast. The winds of change are blowing across the Atlantic, and tech giants Microsoft and Google are feeling the draft. With the landmark Digital Markets Act set to be enforced in Europe this April, both companies are making significant investments in the region, seemingly in a bid to solidify their positions and mitigate the impact of stricter regulations. The DMA dubbed the Anti-Gatekeeper Law, aims to curb the dominance of large online platforms by imposing stricter rules on data access, platform interoperability, and user targeting practices. The prospect of these regulations has sent shutters through Silicon Valley, with Microsoft and Google facing potential hurdles to their established business models. Microsoft established a European data hub, aimed at storing and managing European customer data within the region. This could address concerns about data sovereignty and potentially shield Microsoft from some DMA data access regulations. Additionally, Microsoft is reportedly looking to expand its cloud computing footprint in Europe with plans to invest billions in new data centers across the continent. This move strengthens its cloud offerings and demonstrates a commitment to European infrastructure, potentially swaying regulators in their favor. Across the pond, Google seems to be focusing on innovation and partnerships to navigate the changing landscape. The company recently announced the creation of a new AI research lab in Munich, Germany, dedicated to developing responsible and ethical artificial intelligence applications. This aligns with the DMA's emphasis on responsible AI development and could earn Google some goodwill with regulators. This is the AI report. Google it. Google what? Gemini 1.5. Google's generative AI platform Bard has been upgraded to Gemini. Google says hands down, Gemini beats ChatGPT on every front. Gemini 1.5 has a much larger data set for better results and more accurate information. OpenAI has also announced a new AI text-to-video model that can generate complex video scenes with multiple characters, specific types of motion, and accurate details of the subject and background. The new bot is named Sora. Sora understands not only what the user asked for in the prompt, but also how those things exist in the physical world. This is the AI report. The first AI chatbot employee has been fired. Air Canada has fired the chatbot that works on their reservation system for giving out inaccurate information. The customer asked for a refund due to the chatbot being flat out wrong about the bereavement policy for the airline. The company refused stating the customer should have double checked. Courts in Canada ruled in favor of the plaintiff and ordered the company to refund the money. Air Canada removed chatbot services from its website. This may be the first time an AI chatbot has been replaced by a human. So going forward we can just call them our Canada since they dropped the AI. Oh. You've got jokes? That's funny Micheline. AI is going to space. NASA has announced that USA may land on the moon this week after a long absence from the lunar surface. While the term artificial intelligence wasn't widely used during the Apollo missions, the spirit of intelligent automation was very much present. Today, as NASA preps for the Artemis program's 2024 moon landing, AI has blossomed into a powerful tool, poised to play a crucial role in this next lunar chapter. AI-powered guidance systems will navigate the Space Launch System rocket and Orion spacecraft with unprecedented precision. A thinking autopilot will react to real-time situations, ensuring a smoother and safer journey. Once we get to the moon, AI won't just be a passenger. Rovers like Viper will utilize AI for autonomous navigation, avoiding hazards and charting optimal paths to explore scientifically valuable regions. AI, eyes in the sky. From Earth, AI-powered image analysis will scrutinize data streams from lunar orbiters, identifying potential landing sites, monitoring astronaut activity, and even searching for resources like water ice. The AI will flag potential equipment malfunctions, recommend course corrections, and even assist astronauts in complex decision-making during lunar excursions. While the 2024 moon landing won't be solely driven by AI, it's clear that this intelligent technology has become an indispensable partner. As we venture further into the cosmos, AI's role will only grow, paving the way for a future where humans and machines work together to unlock the mysteries of our universe. The next giant leap onto the moon won't just be a human endeavor, it will be a testament to the power of collaboration, where human ingenuity and artificial intelligence join forces to reach new heights.
Thank you Micheline, great story. That's one small step for man and one giant leap for AI. Get your free copy of, Enterprise AI in the Cloud, a practical guide to deploying end-to-end -end machine learning and chat GPT solutions. Look for the link in the description of this podcast. For the AI report, I'm Artie Intel.